This story starts out when I was 19 years old in Job Corps. They had this dentist that came to center and pulled out your teeth. My teeth were bad because I never brushed my teeth when I was young, so the dentist had to pull out eight of my teeth in a period of several months. The dentist seemed like he knew what he was doing, and I fully trusted him after the fifth tooth he pulled. One day, he pulled one of my back teeth, and everything seemed normal, but hours later, when I was done with trade and hanging out in the dorm, the back of my mouth started really hurting. I took some pills, but nothing seemed to help. After some failed attempts, I managed to take a picture of the inside of my mouth, and from the looks of it, there was a part of my tooth that was still there. The next day, I was in so much pain that I couldn't eat anything, whether soft or hard. I managed to eat little bits of soup, but never could eat much. This continued on for a week where I could hardly eat anything at all. I even tried eating macaroni and was crying because of how much it hurt. Eventually, I was able to be looked at by the dentist, but when he saw my mouth, he started freaking out and told me that what I thought was a piece of tooth was actually a piece of my jawbone poking out of my gums and that the bone was infected because of the food that I've been eating and that he had to go inside my mouth to grind the bone and sew my gums back together. He went back and forth with himself for a while about driving 15 minutes and taking me to the city to have someone more experienced look at me because he had never done anything to this extent, but eventually he told himself that he had the knowledge to do with himself. Still panicking, he numbed me up, grabbed one of his tools, and started grinding my jawbone flat. Then he pried my mouth open uncomfortably and started sewing my gums back together for what felt like forever. After he was done, he had me over to the nurse who weighed me. I was amazed to see that in a week and a half, I lost 20 pounds. The dentist told her to give me some Oxycontin, but the nurse refused since it was job court and instead gave me Tylenol and two other low-grade pills and sent me back to the dorm. I got back to the dorm. I took one of the pills she gave me that was supposed to melt in your mouth like a cough drop, and it was the worst pill that I've ever tasted in my life. Imagine the taste of several glow sticks. As weird as it sounds, that's what I imagine imagine glow sticks to taste like. But the pill was effective, and after having it in my mouth for a few seconds, it was completely numb. The next couple of days were the same, barely eating and hardly able to open my jaw. On top of that, I was afraid that the stitches would come out prematurely. Just in case you're interested, I still do have pictures of what my jaw looked like. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe for new content every four to five days. Until next time.